In the last couple of years, covered call ETFs like QYLD, XYLD, Devo, and Jeppy have captured the attention of income investors across the globe. Each of them writes covered calls on broad market indices and so far have proven to be a solid source of income, making them very popular among investors. However, a new breed of covered call ETFs is emerging and they're taking quite a different and daring approach. Instead of implementing a covered call strategy across an entire broad market index, these new funds are fixated on a single company. One shining example is TSLY, the yield Max Tesla Option Income Strategy ETF, which has boldly based its entire investment strategy on one company and one company alone, Tesla. But TSLY isn't the only one like this. The company behind the fund has also introduced others like it that are centered around popular individual stocks like those pictured here. While the familiar covered call ETFs that we mentioned a moment ago already boast high yields of their own, this new breed takes it to a whole other level. TSLY has a mind-blowing dividend yield of 30.44%, which might just be the highest yield I I've ever seen, and with that appears to offer a cash flow return that really is impossible to ignore. But at the same time, this ridiculously high yield should raise some eyebrows, and at least for me has got me thinking there's gotta be more to this story. We've all heard the term yield traps before. It's when an investment seems too good to be true in terms of its yield, and in reality, that might be what we're looking at here with TSLY. To ultimately determine that though, would help us to at least learn how this fund works and understand how it's been able to generate such a high cash flow return in the half a year or so that it's been on the market. Now we know that like Jeppy and QILD and all the other ones, TSLY is a covered call ETF, so it's able to pay out such a large amount of income by writing call options on the equity that it targets, in this case, Tesla. However, this isn't your standard covered call strategy like what we would find with some of the other ones. TSLY actually writes what are called synthetic covered calls, which allows them to basically replicate a traditional covered call strategy without actually owning any shares of Tesla in the fund. Instead of buying and owning the actual Tesla stock and then writing call options on that, the fund purchases Tesla call options while it simultaneously sells Tesla put options. By combining the purchase call options and the sold put options, the fund is able to artificially replicate ownership of Tesla stock without actually going long in the company. And when we look at TSLY's holdings, that's what all of these are right here. Each of these represents a call or a put on Tesla with the expiration date and the strike price listed right here. And interestingly enough, over half of TSLY is allocated to these treasury notes right here to serve as collateral for the synthetic covered call strategy. Now, while TSLY bases its strategy around one particular company instead of a broad market index, the fund's volatility and therefore its downside risk is almost certainly gonna be more amplified than what we would experience with the others like Jeppy, Devo, and the YLDs. This is especially true when we consider that Tesla in itself is already an extremely volatile stock. Looking at TSLY's share price returns against all of the other covered call ETFs, we can see that it is dramatically underperforming with a 33% drawdown since the fund's inception back in November of 2022. However, just looking at the share price return is really not the best indicator since most of the returns from all of these funds are gonna be coming from the distribution or the dividend. And to solve that problem, we'll look at the total return, which takes dividends into account. And here we'll see that the same is true. TSOY is still underperforming all of the other funds. And furthermore, it's doing so with a lot more volatility. Here it starts and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down again and up again and down again once more. Compared to the rest the covered call ETFs, which do have a little bit of movement, but for the most part, this is a lot less swingy than what we're seeing with TSLY. So not only are you getting worse returns with more volatility than what you would experience with the other funds, but believe it or not, you're actually paying more for it in the process. From TSLY's prospectus, you're paying just about a 1% annual expense ratio, which means that if you have $10,000 invested and accounting for a 5% annual return, you'd be paying $101 in that first year. And by the end of the third year, you'd be out over $300 in expenses. Now, while the expense ratios for all of these other funds are admittedly somewhat high, they're each still about one third or even two thirds less than what you would have to pay with TSLY. But still, one could argue that the exponentially higher yield compared to the other funds more than makes up for that higher expense ratio. That may be true for the moment. And yes, TSLY does have honestly one of the highest yields that I've ever seen, but it's still really not all it's cracked up to be. If we look at the dividend history so far for TSLY, we can see that they started back in January at $1 per share for the month. And in just a few short months, that $1 per share dividend payment has been diminished to less than half. And now you're only getting 44 cents per share. All in all, I really don't see the benefit to investing in something like TSLY. In fact, I really don't think it's a good investment at all. And although it's still so new and things can change from the looks of it, from my point of view, it looks just like a certified yield trap. Everything we've seen so far suggests that the downside is just enormous. And because there's a covered call strategy involved, your upside is limited as well, which means that you're 
missing out on one of the Tesla stock's biggest selling points. And comparing returns once again, just TSLY to TSLA, since the fund's inception, it's overall underperforming the actual stock. And so like I said, I, I really just don't see the point. TSLY is just the latest shiny object to hit the market and more than anything is a distraction and is most certainly not in alignment with what your main investment goal should be, which is to build a steady, reliable stream of cash flow that will continue to grow over a long period of time. There will always be new things like this coming onto the market, these shiny objects, but 99% of the time, they're not gonna be worth your time. In the grand scheme of things, you'll be so much better off just focusing on stocks and ETFs that have a proven track record of delivering desirable returns like the ones I'm talking about in this next video right over here. In this one, I'm telling you about five market beating stocks that I think are so great that they have earned a permanent spot in my portfolio. So click right over here to check them out and I'll see you in the next one.